introduction of video colposcope and computer printouts uh, made it a more acceptable procedure. Video conferencing was now possible. Later, Zurhausen's research on HPV infection added to the interest in the subject and there was need to diagnose an HPV lesion in the lower genital tract. And of course, the era of vaccination started with the 21st century. Mature squamous epithelium is multilayered, consists of superficial cells, intermediate cells, parabasal cells and the basal cells. You can see the uh, parabasal and basal cells contain cytokeratins which are acidophilic and the superficial and intermediate cells contain glycogen which absorbs iodine and becomes iodine positive. This is the mature squamous epithelium and on this you are going to uh, focus the direct uh, light after applying acetic acid on the surface. Now when this light go touches it goes right through the epithelium up to the stroma and the stroma has the blood vessels which reflect back the light and you get a translucent pink color and the cervix will look like this. It is a salmon pink normal epithelium which is looking pink. However, if you focus the light on immature metaplastic epithelium or dysplastic epithelium, it is thick. It is multi-layered but the cytoplasm is limited. The nuclei are hyperchromatic and uh, uh, large and the light does not go up to the stroma but is reflected back from the cervix. It becomes opaque or snow white and the cervix looks like this and this is called the acetovite epithelium. Acetovite epithelium is the most important colposcopic finding. But unfortunately, acetovite change is not specific, being common to immature metaplasia, which may be transient, HPV-related changes, and also cervical intraepithelial neoplasia.